So today's project is going to be hanging blinds that we have pre-ordered from Home Depot. So we'll see how well this goes and you know, it'll be going into these windows here and, and then one more window over here. So let's, uh, let's see how this project goes. So the instructions that were given with the kit were incomplete and just utterly wrong. So this is really the setup. You have the plastic uh, devices here that are to hang the valance. And then you have the metal with the plastic that are to actually uh, clip in the shade itself. So uh, I mounted the plastic ones uh, about six inches uh, to center of the hole and um, the metal ones here are about one and three quarters centered to the hole. So that's how I've been mounting them. So I am using the round headed screws for all the plastic parts. And I'm using the kind of hex-ish looking uh, screw for the bracket that actually holds the roller in place. So this is what it looks like with the uh, brackets mounted uh, into the top of the inside of the windowsill. Um, on these brackets, uh, I mounted with the push button here. You can see it has a little push button. On. I mounted that with it towards the back. It, I found it easier to roll uh, in the front, have space for my finger in the back to push and then click the um, the shade in uh, from there. So that's that's the way it's mounted at, at the moment. The shade will mount like this. You can see uh, this will basically click into those metal brackets on the side and it'll uh, grab into these little slots. So I click the shade into the front, I'm sorry, into the back, and then I roll the front end while I push the button in the back of the uh, bracket. Sometimes on the end of the valance, you're going to notice that there's a little bit of plastic that's uh, protruding or hanging out. You're going to have to trim this. I've been using um, just a X-Acto knife or, or some sort of sharp blade to, to trim that off. So when I cut the side pieces, that they fit a bit more flush. Kind of what it looks like now that it's mounted up uh, in the front valance on. So you can see um, it turned out pretty decent. Right? And you can close the shade and... You can kind of see, you know, how it all matches in. So that's how I'm mounting it. First one's done. It took quite a long time to figure out uh, exactly how to get all those mounted up right because the instructions basically did not apply with what they sent me. So um, just a little, you know, thinking about it and a little playing with it and uh, was able to get it mounted right.